What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Throne and Liberty Open Beta. This is going to be my very first time jumping into this. I have not previously played any of the closed betas that they had going, and I haven't even really watched a lot of videos on it. It is published by Amazon Games, and it's also developed by NCSoft, which this is apparently the spiritual successor to Lineage 2, which I personally never played. But I have played a little bit of Guild Wars, the first one, and also a good bit of their former game, City of Heroes slash Villains, which is one of my favorite MMOs of all time. But today we're going to see what this game is all about. So let's go ahead and enter it, create our character, and then go from there. I'm not even familiar with any of the classes or how any of that works. So uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. So... Let's see. Let's go with NA East 2. I mean, they all say new. I'm not sure what the icon between the two. Oh, good, busy, and full. Let's go with 21, because that one is good. It's not busy, but it's good. Let's see what we got here. The Star of Silveth. It is said to be the seal stone containing Silveth, goddess of destruction. This magical star of destruction was shattered into pieces all across the world. And those who are born with this fragment were called the Star Children. In 1192, during an age of conflict, the Archean commander Khazar sought to use the power of the star fragments as a tool of war and sent the witch Calanthea to the remote island where the wizard Jan Junath hid the Star Children. Cutscene looks pretty good so far. Fire! Oh no. Oh no! We must protect the children at all costs. Character creation begins. Let's see what we got. That was pretty cool. Now I'm assuming, as usual with any other, I, I believe this game was previously a Cre Korean MMO, and now it's just come into the West for the first time. So, uh, as usual, their customizations are always pretty, pretty high up there with options. So. Let's try to... I'm not going to go too crazy here since this is just the open beta, but we'll at least test it out. Sure, we'll go with the basic... <laughs> basic looking guy. All right, what else we got? So, hair slash beard. These are the options that I usually care about the most. Okay. Captain Price. That one looks good, too. I'm interested. Are, are they tied to? Are oh, these are types? Okay, cool. So we can like select one of these. What if I go like with this one, and then we can change the uh, hair type still. Cool. How is that? Maybe, maybe. 
I used to always be the type of person that would select the fade every single time, but these days I've kind of been going for a little bit longer style hairs. Yeah, I actually don't mind that. What about the beard? What options do we got for the beard here? Okay, so you get multiple options. You can do long beard, short beard, and then choose the thickness of it too. That's cool. I think I'll stick with the one that he has. Yeah. I think that's that's probably fine right there. We got body. All slim, bulky. Go a little let's go like right there. A little bulky. Nothing too crazy. Costumes. They can see what they look like in different outfits. Alright. Anything else to change? Maybe the eye color? Iris? Yeah, let's go with some green eyes. Perfect. I think that's a good starting point. Change body type. Oh, wait. Cancel. This will reset. Designer preset. All right. I think we're good. Let's get right into it. Start game. Let's see what we got here. this E for attack or select the target okay I see oh there we go all right so I did select the classic mode which is the one that you use for your mouse you can also select them action mode which you can uh, like wherever your mouse goes that's where it follows we'll see though I mean yeah right there so you press B. Maybe I'll try action mode. Defense. Oh, God. Oh, so it automatically swings. I see. To do that all the time? Alright, I kind of like the action mode so far, but we'll see. Do is like a dodge. Try the other abilities. Drag to rotate the camera, select the target. Okay, yeah, we already got that one. Going through the full tutorial, switch to ranged weapon. So Q, it looks like, is always your dodge. He is auto-attacking right now. Okay. He fell down. Got some enemies coming up here. Awaken the wild power of the star fragments. This does kind of have like a similar vibe to, oh, what? <laughs> you can shift into an animal like that? Wait, do we attack like this or are we just trying to run? I think we're just trying to run. I did see some animals, but I thought I, I didn't realize that you actually shift into them. Huh. Help me, Gandalf. We're Wraith Wizard. Well done. Ah, oh, thank you.
The Wraith Wizard was the bad guy, actually. Who are you? That feeble child has grown so well. You have a special star fragment within you. Oh. A power with infinite possibilities. But beware, as there are dark beings who are after that power. You must control the star fragment's power. Do not be consumed by the darkness. Prelude Starborn. Okay. This is a cool introduction so far. I mean, this game looks beautiful. Enter your name. Go cast this plays. Sure. That worked. Use this name. Yes. Sure, I'll help open. Open the door. where you were i was looking for you lottie transported supplies to the north guard could you go with her to take the supplies she'll need you since it's so dangerous i'd go myself but for my arm but give me a hand sure oh, that lottie she didn't take the map we can again. help you i guess damn it Go to the map. She'll probably get lost trying out a shortcut without this map. Can you Press bring it to, her? to open the map? Resistance Depot. Available content. No available content. Okay. We're going to a different one. Nope. None there. Right Whatever you do, don't leave without the map. Yeah, I have the map. Am I good? Oh, we we just had to look at it. Now get going, friend. All right, get going, I guess. It's nice how easily you can to toggle between action mode and classic mode if you do want to switch. Oh. Like I said, it does look beautiful. <laughs> it surely does look beautiful. Okay. F10 for the main menu to check out various content. Speak with Lottie oh, in the Fortress Aaron. Lottie, there you are. Hey, what are you doing here? What brings you here? Uh, I brought, I brought the map. Oh, really? I was just going back to get it. Thanks. I should get going. I'll help deliver the goods. It's true, I was about to move the delivery. Did Benny tell you? Honestly, I told him not to worry. Well, it certainly won't hurt to have you come along. Let's go. Sure, I guess. What exactly are we delivering now? I guess the Archeum portal is opening again. We need to deliver the some Archeum? munitions across Whisperian before they invade. Hmm. We'll want to bring weapons. You never know when you'll get into a fight. Let's head to supplies management first. Connell should have a weapon chest ready for us. Okay. Now, let's so go. I'm guessing the weapon chest is probably where we're going to choose a weapon. Because right now we just have a great sword, I guess, to start with. Open the resistance weapon chest near the war supplies manager. I don't know. Okay, so when you let go of shift, it just... But uh, gets rid of the form, the beast form, or whatever it is. Are you going to give supplies to the guards? Just in case. Bring your own weapons. Bring your own weapons. There's a training dummy Weapon over there, introduction. So you can practice with your new weapons. Okay. They got great sword. After all, it's your sword. weapons that'll save your life in battle. The dagger. The longbow. Crossbow. Staff and the wand. 
So what is the difference between? All right, we're pro. I'm I'm a ranged pet player, so I always go with that. Uh, let's take a look at the longbow. Specialized in long range sniping, immobilizing enemies from a distance and dealing increased damage from afar. Can also be used to speed up healing of party members, making it a great support for allies. Okay. Enables in a fight style with fast movement and relentless pace of attack. It marks enemies so you can unleash a merciless barrage of weakened foe or on the weakened foe, taking them down in an instant. Staff puts very the very elements of creation at your fingertips. With it, you can unleash explosive magical attacks that deal in, uh, significant damage and use the area magic to turn the tide of battle even when surrounded by multiple enemies. And then the wand is a support weapon that helps you heal and buff your allies in addition and ensures your party's survival. You can cast first magic to weaken enemies and maximize the damage dealt by your allies. It is especially useful in boss raids and group encounter. Cool. I'm going to go with the longbow, I think. Is there any other ones? Yeah, that's all of them. I like that little introduction there. Uh, so how do I use one? Open the main menu to equip... Oh God. Character info. Is the right pane to view available items? Double click an item to equip it. Swap weapon sets to equip secondary weapon slot. Stat de changes depend on the weapon you have equipped. Go to the character menu and learn about skills. Okay, so let's go with, we're gonna make the longbow my primary, I guess. And then I think I might do the the wand as my secondary and do it like that or the staff might be my secondary I'm not sure yeah but we'll, we'll stick with this we'll at least try it all right and then now we go to skills here on defending against an enemy's fairy attack with the defense skill each weapon activates a special effect when triggered, active effects can attack enemies or provide other effects for you and your party. Equipped passive skills are always applied, allowing you to change your combat style based on your selection. Skills added to the quick slot can be used in combat. Move skills into quick slots to equip them. Only equip skills that can be used or applied in battle. Cool. So we have defense skills. There are these. You choose one or the other. Overtaker defends against attacks on defending attack against fury. Attack with overtaker while stationary magic melee and range increased by 100% for cloak shield. So, oh, that's how you upgrade them, it looks like. I think we can select these i think that's just like how it works when you use your defense ability all right then these are the active skills so our bow so if i press this defense skills consume stamina defend against attacks additional stamina is consumed oh i see i see so this is my bow defense and this is my uh wand defense that makes sense and then we have our active skills right here and then upgrades. Okay, I see. So how do I, if I just press this, I can swap between the two. It changes the auto attack. Can I still use, I wonder if I can still use, even when I have this out. Oh, so it just changes your base attack. Oh, I see how it works. All right, how do I stop attacking? That's my real question. All right, I'm good. Lock on. All right, I don't want to attack anymore. It's holding it down. Okay, jeez. <laughs> I had to sprint out of there. Okay, I see. So you can use both of them. Oh, that's that's actually really cool. So we're going to go to F10 again. We're going to go back to skills real fast because I need to equip these. 
That's why these are on five, six, and seven. All right, so I'm gonna move these to my primary because my bow will be my primary skill. And then this will apply to the second one. Applies weakened curse, deals damage over time. Hold on, I think we might change this up then. We'll apply that first because it does damage over time. If there's a target with uh, within five meters affected by curse damage over time from you instantly deal all remaining burning damage. All right, so then let's take this, this, and this and put it right there. Five meter area that target location inflicts a weakened curse. Restores base friendly health proportionate to 310% of base damage. Let's equip that there. And I think we're good. These are all just like regular shots too. That one's a fury attack. Cool. All right, I like the combination of Dumont, using two things. I need things. to go to the North that's, Guard. That's Can you open the gate? Leave the I fortress see. while following Wadi. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> Let's go. In the past, Captain Da Vinci Aaron led the resistance to defend the island from the Archim Legion. But uneasiness still lingers here. You left Fortress Aaron to help Man, game does look military beautiful. supplies. Now, I know they put out some information about the monetization for this game. You and haven't used a piton yet, have you? From my understanding, if you got the money, you can pretty much get all the PvP huh. gear. So, be warned about that. I mean, right now we're playing the open beta, so it's completely free. After an unusually powerful attack by the Archie but I know Legion. that they have a lot. The rubble block the path of monetization. But you and Lottie used a grappling hook and pitons in this to climb game. over it. So we shall see. It looks like well, you come at the perfect time. Destroyed by artillery. Would you go? Oh. Move towards the tree. Great tree, Whisper Superior. There's a pulley lift up to Whisperion ahead. Come on, let's hurry. Right behind you. It's interesting how the, the sprint in this the game works. The artillery is clearing the way for Black Mitrans. Let's get rid of these Mitrans before more show up. Oh. Watch the enemy's movement. Dead. When you see an opening, strike. Got it. Damn them! Damn them! Using Mitrans as weapons. We must hurry! We must hurry! We're almost there! We must hurry! I'm right behind you. I think. Or I'm in front of you. Come on, Lottie, let's go. I don't know where we're going other than to the tree. No, this can't the be happening! It was destroyed! Oh no. Hermits, are you okay? Speak with Lottie. The pulley lift broke. Uh, we can't keep going like this. Gonna be okay. There's gotta be another way around. There isn't one. Either we use this pulley to cross Wisperian, or we'd have to go by boat. Uh, that won't do. Bermetz is here, so let's check the lift. I'll get this fixed. You go help the other resistance members. Okay. Bermetz. Help the resistance soldier oh, in need of aid. Well, between the two of us, we'll have it fixed in no time. Shall we get started? Whoopee. Resistance soldier, are you okay? Thank you. I was attacked near Whisperian. Go there and tell me what is going on. Follow the Whisperian. Please. Mark of the Whisperian. we have here
Something's interesting. <laughs> defeated the black mitrans that appeared where the fireballs landed and then headed toward Whisperian. Fortunately, Whisperian was still intact. I like the, but you the narrator. The, guards the narrator the sounds cool. Lift. When you contacted Whisperian, a mysterious being bathed in light appeared. All right, let's talk to Clay. How did you get here? The lift was hey. destroyed. I don't know, man. Some kind of strange power just brought me here. Oh, wait a second. Do you have the power of a star fragment? I've heard Wisperian summon star bearers. It looks like that's true. I want to help protect this island. Oh, thank you so much. Now, please go to Tuaren's Terra. Since you have the star fragment, you can use Glide Morph to get there. I'll go over all oh, the operation details yeah. later. Uh, uh, by the way, have we met before? Uh, sorry, forget it. Uh, Got to stay focused. I, I don't think we have. Ah, but... It's an enemy attack. We Fired hurry. bald eagle more. Form a glide morph by jumping off. I'll go first. I'll see you down there. Oh, okay. I'm going anyways. Whoa. Oh. Oh, press it two times to. Oh, no. Descend. Today. I will That's pretty cool. The star fragment of Wisperian to Kazar. Orc commander. Hear the details of the operation from Clay and Kyra. Resistance, get Kyra. Get in position and fight. Clay, what's going on? The orc turret is attacking Wisperian. Resistance soldier. Using the spirit. We steal the fire dust from the orcs and throw it into the turret. Okay. If Defeat we orcs to acquire fire, fire dust. fire dust at once, the turret will overheat and explode. I see. Everyone got it? Take the fire dust from the orcs and throw it into the turret. They're after the turret. Kill anything that stands in your way. How? All right, take the fire dust. I have 12. Kill them all! I'm taking it. Oh, no, you I'm don't. going for the touchdown. You press and hold it. I put 12 in there. Really got to use my MMO mouse, it seems like. <laughs> I think they used to do some sort of... Oh, wait, you know what I just realized? I didn't equip my defense skill either. Alright, it's down. Should equip my defense skill before this. I can't roll because I don't have it equipped. Maybe I can equip it real quick. Fast, fast. Uh, take this. Oh. You 
got this play. Oh no, it's crying. Oh, wait, were we that child? Oh snap. Children, this way! That is me. I wasn't told about any serious injuries. <clears throat> hey, are you awake? Do you recognize me? Oh, nice. You wait here. I'll call the healer now. The children who lost everything. Oh. Are you okay? I I guess. We made it. What happened? Mana went into a frenzy and you blew away that giant king vertex. Sorry, I don't remember. Big boom. <laughs> Let's ask Clay. You wanted to talk to you? All right. Go find Clay. Before... Wait, hold on now. Before we keep going, let me equip this. So we definitely need it. Yeah, so that's my Q ability. That's what I needed to put on earlier, but I couldn't use it because we were in combat. Or, well, I could, but I wasn't fast enough. All right, Clay, where are you? Right there. You did good. You did good. Thank you. Oh, You're finally awake. Come this way. How are you? Feeling better now? Yeah. A little bit. I feel better. The enemy withdrew after you took out King Vert. I'm glad you weren't seriously injured. I remember you saved me in the last invasion. Oh, right. From the time when we barely escaped from the chapel in one piece. I almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> but what are we to do about your power? At this rate, you may be chased off like before, or even lose your life to a mana frenzy. What should be done? Hmm. You know, I have a friend in Laslin named Martine. She is conducting research on Marvescence. She should be able to help you out. Okay. Wow, my eyes are very green. How can I recognize and find her? The storage manager in Castleton, Melky, will know where to find her. In fact, no matter the town, the storage managers know where to find anything. Touch oh. Luna Zero's head to temporarily enhance your glide ability. Should get you all the way to Castleton. Okay. Uh, are we... Oh. Luna, are you are you alright with that? Uh, I better head to... Last, last one. Here we go. <laughs> Later, y'all. 
Peace out. Adios. We're going on a trip. how animated that thing is it reminds me a lot of like the uh the dark spirit thing that follows you around in bdo but more definitely more animated nc presents This is a pretty cool intro, seeing the world like this. Those events look sick. So I think that's like the big appeal of this is you have giant PvE and PvP events or raids that you can do. Honestly, that's a pretty sick intro. Thanks to the star <laughs> fragment power within your body. If you body, ask me, that's actually a pretty cool intro. Fire time. Link accounts to your Amazon Games ID. Oh, oops. it escape. Oh, you can see all the player. Oh, wow. Jeez, there's a lot of people here. These are all players. I can't even see the objective right now. Let's see. No title, Hero of Wisp Island. We can equip that. There's mail here, Lucent account. Thank you for participating in the test. A gift of Lucent has been added to your account. Feel free to purchase items from either the special shop or auction house via the menu. So Lucent is the currency that you can, you can earn it in game, but you can also just straight up buy it. Um, they put out information about it recently on like Twitter and stuff. Okay, let's uh, let's see what we got here. Go over to the uh, prelude, click the claim award, the reward. Claim one, select one of the following rewards. So we got a forgotten combat hat it, is it all the same? Magic hat, leather hat, combat hat. Seems like it's all the same. I'll take this one. Schedule, 
So, oh yeah, that's the other thing with this game is every day there's a schedule and certain events, depending on your server, happen during those times. So if we look right here at 1700, there's a Gigantrite event. At 20, there's another one. So 8 p.m. And then at 11 p.m., there's another one. And it goes daily and hourly. Another one at 2 a.m., 5 a.m., 8 a.m., 11. And you can also set reminders for these. So it's, it's kind of cool in, in that aspect, but you definitely want to choose a server that would be, you know, beneficial to be your time zone, because otherwise you're going to miss all the events uh, if you're on a server that's not during the time that you play the game. There's so many people. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of like really impressed with, jeez, there's so many people. I don't think I've ever played an MMO where you can see this many, like one, in one time, like without it instancing. Like even in WoW or like uh, Final Fantasy, there's a limit to how many players you can see. This is crazy, though. I'm not gonna lie, kind of impressive. All right, well, let's let's see. What does this do? Lord Hobbs of Laslin resisted Revolupius, who had usurped the throne, but his dominion was taken Castle by the Archim Legion. However, Laslin was freed again by the Founder's Order, led by Captain Da Vinci, and the Laslin Allied Resistance Captain Forces da Vinci. were founded here. Region open Castleton. That's cool. So it, it unlocks the area. I guess that might be like a fast travel point too. And then from there, it lets you... Uh... Jeez, this is crazy seeing so many people here. Pressing P opens your character. Okay, so this is where you can see this. Where are we headed now? I see S... Oh, there it is. It gives you a little history, though, on the world, which is neat. All in paper. In storage, it's very convenient. Welcome, Melky. brother. First time you know in Martine? Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't have any brothers. Oh, it's a little goblin. Name. If you don't have anything to store, buzz off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clay sent me. What? You know Clay? I still can't tell you, though. Try visiting the priestess. Okay. The priestess. Leveling lock. Players can review the content and rewards that they unlocked according to the character's progression and tasks that they have completed. They have access to. All right. So claim rewards right there. Let's see. So you can also claim all rewards too. We are at level one. Where is man? It's so hard to tell where the objective is. Speak to the priestess Grace. Kasten. Oh, there it is. Sometimes if you get too close, the really icon goes away. Let me explain the situation. I see. Please wait a moment. I sense no ill intentions from you. The power of the gods has confirmed the truth of your words. I'd be able to meet Martine? Of course. However, she is currently in danger, and thus under the protection of the people of this village. Hmm. You will need to follow protocol. What should I... what should be done? To meet her, you are going to need the password. Ask the Sundry's merchant for the first half of the phrase, and the skills researcher for the second half. If you mention that you are seeking a red flower, you will receive the answers you need. Okay. Speak with Sundry's merchant, Scott. So we have to ask about a red flower? Do you need anything? Looking for a red flower. Yes, welcome. So the priestess sent you. Or maybe the you've heard. Sent you. Or there have been some suspicious people asking about Martinet recently. 
They were wearing disguises, but it was clear as day they were from the Archeum Legion. I like how you can, so it looks like you might be able to like hover over this or something. Archeum Legion. Eh. Oh, I don't know what those Archeum bastards want with them. But under these circumstances, we have no choice but to be wary of outsiders seeking Martinet. So, what's the first part of the password? Oh, yes, that's right. Sorry, I suppose I got a little carried away. The first half of the password is the light fragment. You can find out the rest of the phrase from the skills researcher. Be sure to stop by my store again if you're free later. Okay. If I can, I will, sir. I'm definitely interested here. I I'm curious. So the way I typically play games like this and the way I even play Lost Ark was I, I played the story and followed it as much as I could. And I typically do that until you hit a wall. Because in these games, there's a moment in time eventually, typically after the main story, where you hit a wall where now it's like the grind is insane or you can spend money. And that's kind of where I got to with Lost Ark. And I Absolutely think it's going to be a similar skills. scenario for this game, Do but I guess learn a new skill? It, it just depends on how intense that grind is. Um, looking for a red flower. Ah, so the priest has sent you. The second half of the password is whispers. Head to the Castleton Infirmary on the ah. north side of town to meet Martinet. Whispers. Just say the password and they'll let you in. All right, I'll get it done. By the way. Many of the townsfolk, including myself, have been brought to health by Martinet's healing skills. Please take care not to let anything happen to her. Keep an eye out for anyone suspicious on your tail, just in case. Uh. The store manager Melky hid Martinet's existence, pretending not to know anything about her. This was because suspicious outsiders, thought to be members of I like the narrator, region, had been looking for Martinet. That's pretty cool. To meet with her, you had to meet the people connected to her and prove that you had no ill intent. After that, you learn the password, the light fragment whispers. Uh, use the password at the entrance of the castle then. The light, the dark mass screams. <laughs> I wonder what happens. The light fragment whispers. You sense someone's presence beyond the entrance and hear the click of the lock being opened. Hello there. Ooh, Martinet. I haven't seen you around before. So what brings you here? Hi, I've come to ask about healing. As I'm sure you heard on your way here, I can't treat anyone right now unless it's an emergency. Would you mind coming back later? Yes. Let me explain the situation. Oh, I see. Clay probably sent you to help with my research. The truth is, my sister is also suffering from the same symptoms as yours, and I've been searching for a cure. The mana calming potion I'm creating should be able to help. Let's see. Oh, drat. I just used oh, my drat. last batch of ingredients. Uh, it's pretty cool. I, I like how the, it handles cinematics and stuff like that, because like even right there, it's something so simple, but it feels like you're in a cut. Let me fetch the ingredients. Then I'll tell you where to go and what I need. Head to the Golden Apothecary in the Golden Rye Pastures. Uh -huh. You'll be able to find some rancid powder. Just get me some rancid powder, and I'll whip up a mana calming potion for you. Ah. I'll get to it right away. You know how to use waypoints, right? If you aren't sure, go ask Priestess Grace. Using them makes it a breeze to return after procuring materials. Okay. Is he enough? Oh. Are we gonna... Oh, no. Pain. The locked firmary. Castleton Infirmary has been closed for some time due to rumors that the Archeum Legion is looking for Martinet. It was to trick them into thinking that Martinet, Dude, who had worked it's as a healer, it's crazy there, seeing so many players. While in hiding, she is still researching a cure for her sister, who is suffering from the Morvescence. You can level up in the main menu. All right, let's see. Character photo, uh, stat points. As you level up, you earn stat points that you can invest in your stats. First character info to see detailed stats. So what is this 
I mean, like, I don't, I don't know. Serve as a source of nimbleness, increases quickness, and critical attacks in addition to evasion and max damage. Increasing max health, health regen, max damage, and min damage. Wisdom. That's my combat status. Does it tell me which ones this is best for? Or is it just like overall? Increases max mana and mana regen in the addition to cooldown abilities and max damage. May I grace Serves as a source of insight and awareness. Of glory. I don't know which one to increase. That damage, melee. Max health. All right, let's, I don't know. Let's go, sh I want to say strength. Increased hit rate of ranged attacks and the chance to apply CC effects with range skills. If your stat is higher than the target's ranged of vision. Hit rate, base. Oh, okay, I see. You can check the stat. Oh, there we go. So that's where we can see the difference. So that would give me more health. This would give me more mana. So I'm going to guess perception is the one we want to go for. Dexterity does increase your critical hit, though. And a vision. If your stat is higher than the target's accuracy for every 10 points of difference, the chance increases about the differences. Protection. Maybe dexterity is the way to go, then. For that critical hit. You know what? Let's go with this dexterity. Speak with the priestess Grace. Do you need help with something? Actually, there's something else I'm curious about. You still have unanswered questions. Wondering I see. about waypoints. Waypoints are one of the greatest implementations of Venalux magic. They allow you to instantly traverse from one location to another. Originally, teleportation was a spell that only the most skilled wizards were able to mm. cast. By creating distortions between spaces using the elements of wind and earth. Okay. It was the wizard Clay who completed the schema to make waypoints so that teleportation could be accessible to everyone. Anyone can use a waypoint without any special training. See. Try placing your hand on the waypoints in the plaza and at the Golden Rye pastures. Afterwards, talk to the resistance officer Ashton. He'll explain the rest. Okay. Activate the waypoint of Castleton. Where are they? Right here. Oh, that's this thing. Yeah, we used this earlier. You'd like to look around Castleton again? Sure, I guess. Lord Hobbs of Laslin resisted Revolupius, who had usurped the throne. Okay. That's cool that every time you go to that, though, it, it gives you that information. All right. Yeah, this, this game seems like it's got a, uh, a good bit. Um, if I can re record another part, I will. If not, I mean, I'll probably... I mean, I, sh I should be able to. I don't know how long this beta is going on for, uh, but it's a few days at least. But for right now, we're going to leave it right here. So far, I mean, looking at the game, looks beautiful. Uh, combat does feel pretty good, at, at least for the little that we did play. I understand how it works. It's cool that you can kind of mix and match two abilities and skills. So I can only see how it can just get more and more advanced. Um, as an open beta, I mean, it's free to try. Uh, I think this game is, well, it's going to be free to play as well. So there's a lot of opportunity with it. We'll wait and see, though. Um, and like I said, if I can record another episode, I will do my very best. If you enjoyed this, leaving a like on it really helps out a whole lot. Go in the Discord if you want announcements anytime I go live or post new videos. We've been doing a lot of once, once Human lately, so I have an entire playthrough of that pretty much up at this rate. 
And uh, I've also been playing a lot of a lot of Magic the Gathering if you like card games and card deck building and all that. So I might have some of that up in the future soon. For now, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.